I'm going to create a new assistant. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be about, um, you know, post event follow up campaigns. And so this is essentially going to be um, following up with um, attendees. after events. And so essentially in this scenario, um, the focus is on executing a post event follow up campaign after uh, attending a web conference or in person conference or something like that. So typically following up with attendees would involve, you know, manually summarizing the event, um, recalling details of various workshops that happened in the event, um, drafting personalized emails to thank uh, participants for attending. And this is going to be quite labor intensive, especially when there are multiple workshops involved, there are multiple events, multiple speakers, and you want to really personalize it so that you can get a high um, click-through rate and return rate. So uh, it's really important that you can really automate this process, make it a lot faster. Um, so in this scenario, you'll be doing um, a post uh, follow-up campaign. So I'm just going to put a simple instructions there and create this assistant. Um, in this scenario, we will be doing actions. Um, so the first action we'll be using is a uh, Gmail. So we'll do a similar uh, Gmail campaign here. Um, and so, yeah, one second. Um, yeah, so uh, first, actually, first, I want to add the data source. So in this case, we're going to be using a um, specific data source that has uh, events, uh, information about workshops that someone attended um, in a hypothetical event. Um, so let's do this one. I have workshop data. Um, and you can see this spreadsheet here. I have this data, similar data that we had before, first name, last name, email, company, job, um, and workshop attended. So in this workshop, we're going to have um, you know, five, I think there's around five different workshops and you want to personalize emails based on the workshop that I attended in a, um, an event. Um, so yeah, let, let's do that. Um, so the first thing that I'll be doing is let's go back to this one. Um, yeah. So the first thing that I'll be doing is I'll be saying that I just event, attended this event. Um, and it's going to be doing some more web scraping technique for this website here. Um, and I'm going to say the first thing I want to do is summarize the event. Um, in five paragraphs, or let's just say summarize the event, right? Um, and yeah, um, I'm not going to do the Gmail thing again. Um, I, I can add it, and it's very simple to add, but I think it takes a little bit longer, and I just want to get through more demos here. Um, but yeah, you would simply add a Gmail thing right here. You would add, you know, send email. But for now, I'm just going to uh, leave it be and just create drafts. Um, we saw how I could send emails a little bit earlier, um, but just for the sake of time, I would like to leave it out for now. Um, so yeah, so it did similar web scraping. Um, you can do this for any website. I'm just sticking it with this one just because we know what this event is. It's just today's event. Um, and yeah, so we have this data about it. Um, and so now what I want to do is I'm going to say um, this event had many workshops um, uh, within the event. So I want to list all of the workshops at the event. Um, from the workshop data source. Um, and I, I want it regardless of name of the event. So I'm just going to say regardless of the name. Um, and this, what this should do is it should query this data source that I just added for the workshop data and get us all the data here and let us analyze that. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, what this scenario would be. Um, so, okay, I, I'm not sure why it only got this one. I want to get, get all of them regardless of the event. So, regardless of the event name, I think it's trying to find um, names similar to um, sales or AI powered sales because that's the name of this event. Um, yeah, it seems like it put this AI powered sales um, uh, SQL query in there, but I want it regardless of the event because I want to um, basically the scenario, what I want to do here is follow up after the event based on the workshop they attended, right? So I want to find the workshop they attended and then send a tailored email based on that workshop. Um, and then that when you're tailoring your emails, you know, you're going to have a lot higher click through rate, and a lot higher response rate um, for them to come back to a future event. And so if you tailor toward that, um, that's a really unique scenario here that could this be really, really, really useful for. So um, next step here, now we have all the names of the workshops. Um, it's going, I want to drop up an email 
to the people who attended each workshop and thank them for coming to the event. Um, and you want to tailor it um, to what they learned in each workshop. And yeah, um, yeah. While it's you know while it's running, I want to talk a little bit more about this. So um, we're going to be using you know Saint Central again to create this, and we'll first script event data that we created earlier. Um, then we'll create the summary, and we'll extract the details about the workshops from the workshop data. Um, and then with this information, we're creating these drafts that are personalized follow-up emails that are based on you know the workshops content. Um, in this case, we're just adding the workshops content is just the name of the workshop. But um, if you want to make this even more personalized, maybe you could. Um, create another row in your spreadsheet that just gives a, you know, a short description of what happened in that workshop. Um, and yeah, now you have um, personalized emails for all the workshops that hypothetically happen at this event. And yeah, so that's another use case there 